Welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. So our rover is down there, and we are heading in this direction. So we're going to go around this way. So there's another ice lake there. We could go around the other way as well, but I think this looks nice and flat to go through. So let's jump in the rover and see what the world brings us. All right. Now, I've been driving in third person so far. Let's try first person, shall we? And see how that is. It will help to turn off the parking brake. It looks like the small wheels are going backwards, really. The one we can see, anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is some... Whoa. There was a bit of a hill there. All right. And there's a bit of a hole there as well. Wow. I'm not sure if I like driving first person to third person better. Actually, I might like first person better. It does... actually seem a little bit easier to drive in first person mode but that may be an illusion and it may also be that we come across some obstacles that we would have seen in third person that we missed at first ah. whoa, 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 whoa. are we flying right now <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think it's a really good thing that I put those wheels in front. I think that really helps. Can you knock it over, please? Thank you. Go away, trees. That tree went flying. <laughs> Look at the go. Look at that tree go. That was a little bit funny. All right, we're going. Let's turn these off and see what's around. There's a thing 10 kilometers away. I don't really care too much about that, to be honest. What I do care about is, actually, I forgot. Let's just stop for a second. Turn on the parking brake. Get out. Um... Uh, not, that's not the one I wanted. I want this. Uh, or detector. Uh, we won't be able to put this on, will we? Crap. We don't have the materials for it, so we'll just keep going. I don't have any detector components with me. So... Let's just keep going and see. Whoa, another tree that went flying there. See what the world brings us. Oh, there's a bit of a dip there. It's fine. Man, when we get up to speed, it's actually pretty nice to drive. It's actually pretty nice to drive. Oh, go away, tree. There's a lot of trees here. It looks like we're entering a dense forest, which is not fantastic. But we're, we're doing pretty good speeds right now. 40. Whoa. Right down to zero. <laughs> Let's just keep going. I really want to fight someone. I really want to fight someone. Maybe it's better to go over this way. It looks like there are less trees this way. Why aren't we going anywhere? 
What are we stuck on? Stuck on something. Let's just plow straight through here. Why can't we go forward right now? Come on. You can do it. Apparently not. Let's go back then. And try and come up this ridge. Can we do it? Come on. Shouldn't have said that we were going pretty good. Always messes up with stuff. Get through it. Doesn't it look like the tire is going backwards? It looks to me like the tire is going backwards, but then again, sometimes it looks like that in the real world as well. Alright, let's get through here. There are no enemies on the radar right now. Are we going to get out of this mountainous region somehow? I wonder, it doesn't look like it, it's just more mountains. I wonder what it looks like when I'm driving like this from third person, but I don't want to switch to third person because I feel like it's going much, much better in first. Here. Knock down some trees. And then flying. Go away trees. Come on, you can do it. Move forward, move forward. Go, go. A bit of downhill aid there. Now the tree goes flying. All right. Looks like we're through the worst of the forest for now. Whoa, that's a big drop. That's a big drop. Parking brakes. Let's jump out and have a look. <laughs> All right, this does not look good. Is there any way around this? Not really. What's over here then? If we keep going this way. Let's just have a quick look. There's an enemy up there. Stormfire. Let's come over this way and have a quick look. And see what we're getting ourselves into. Could have put a, a marker down. Man, this does not look promising for a rover, does it? This does not look promising for a rover. I think we need to turn around. Maybe try going another way. Go around the ice lake in that way, maybe? Let's try that. Now, I'm a little bit surprised that no bases or anything has, have spawned in. I feel like we've gone quite far. I mean, home base is... What? 15 kilometers away or something? Well, we need to come, up, need to come about. Let's actually go into third person here while, while we do that. Because that... Falling into something while going backwards is no fun. The gyros really help with the steering. Well, that's kind of nice. Right, let's see if we can find the path we cleaved through here. I think we came this way, didn't we? Ok, 
can't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, you can do it. Keep going, buddy. That's more like it. Going uh, like 30 to 40 seems like the most comfortable speed for this thing. I am 100% certain that I added uh, bases to this. So there should be bases around somewhere. Oi. All right, here's our path. You can see it quite clearly that this is where we came through, which is nice. It's <laughs> also a little funny. Alright, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn, turn, turn. And I think the path is over here. Not here, but over... Oh. I accidentally hit the right mouse. Or the, the right... Uh, a instead of W, somehow. I think I just rested my finger on the key. All right. So at least it's a beautiful landscape. Our path is over here. Looks very much like a path that we would have cleared. All right, so we need to go around this ice lake that's on our left now. So let's see. I'm pretty sure it's on our left right now. We're going to have to jump out and see which way we need to go. And I think it might be a good idea to do that pretty soon. Let's just get up top here. Okay, let's stop up here. So well, there's the lake. Let's uh, turn on the parking brakes and jump out and have a look around. I think that that's the storm fire thing. We need to come around this way and then turn okay I really should put beacons down when I leave the the rover behind but it's so big that it's mm, relatively easy to find also I forgot to color it I should color it but you guys didn't give me any colors that you wanted me to color it So if you have a color pattern or a color scheme in mind, let me know. Not green, because then I won't be able to find it. And I'm colorblind. Please keep that in mind. So, uh, come on. Get up there. Get up there. Thank you. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, I know. There's a tree in the way. Uh, you'll do it. Oh, yeah, baby. The gyros are really nice. They do a lot of work for us. We 
have a lot of power. Well, a lot of uh, stored up power, it seems. We have enough for several days. And we have a ton of ice, I think, on board as well. We do weigh 896,000 kilos. So that might be why it's a, it's a little bit unruly to drive. Tad heavy. Tad on the heavy side. Just need to get, make it through these trees and then I think we're here to move that way. Come on. Knock that tree down. Thank you. We can maybe avoid some if we go this way. And we're gonna knock that one down, but we avo avoided a few. I wonder if we can get up that path. really not confident I think I mean this terrain really doesn't lend itself to to a rover does it I mean it's it's not very rover friendly so, now we have it and damn it we're gonna try it Now the next thing we're gonna try is probably to get off this rock. And by rock I mean the planet. And try and uh, get into space. But I'd really like to find some enemies and whack first. Is that a ridge? That looks like a ridge. Yeah, that's a ridge. Bit of a weird one. Looks like there's been an earthquake or something. Don't think those are a thing in uh, in the game, but it looks like a a crack in the earth. Let's go this way. Looks like we can get around it here. Somewhere. Right? No, we can't. Oh, yeah. Come on. We can get over it. Come on. Get over it. Get over it. You can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Get up there. Get up. Damn it. Are we going to get stuck here? Feels like we are. It certainly feels like we are. Come on. Well, what's what's happening? Can't see a damn thing. We're almost up. Just need a little boost. You're so close! Oh, here we go, here we go! Something smoking though. That's parking brake. Get out and see what's damaged. Something up front is damaged. How did you get damaged? New construction components, bulletproof glass, some steel plate. Hmm. Let's see, construction components plate bulletproof glass I think that should be enough I wonder how that thing got 
damage. Whoa, this is damage too. Let's fix that up so we don't lose those front reels. They have been quite the savior for us. Oh, this guy is damaged. This guy is damaged. We're damaged all over. Yeah. This is some rough terrain. Need steel plate. All right. Well, it's fine for now. It's fine for now. I wonder if the base is. This building while we're gone. I hope it is. Now we we are going to have to drive this thing all the way back again at some point. Which is a little disconcerting. I definitely, I really thought a rover would be the way to go, but I am not so sure now because of this terrain. I, I mean, it, I knew it would be pretty rough terrain. We are in the mountains, right? But this is ridiculous. <laughs> we need to go this way. Move trees. Well, we're probably... Oh, those guys went down nice and easy. Uh, it's rough getting up this. Look at that. When we were, we're slowing down. It is quite steep. Oh, it doesn't actually look like it, in my opinion. But it is. It's going to get steeper. Knock down this last tree. And. Oh. That's what I want. Try going up this way. Man, we are going slow. We are going so slow. Well. As you know, I'm pretty new to the game, so it's a learning process, and I think I've learned that rovers in the mountains are a bad idea. I think that's my takeaway from this. Yeah, that's my takeaway from this. What did we hit? Come on. Why do we keep getting stuck here? There's nothing there. Here we go, here we go. Go, go. Please. Please go. Ah. We're climbing up a very, very steep incline. You know what? Let's parking break it. Jump out and take a look if it's even worth going up here. Before I do that, I want to fill up my... So, these... The generators still have something to work with. But actually, not as much as I would have thought. Ah, there's still some left. Let's uh, get rid of this. Alright, let's jump out and see what we can see. Ooh. 
let's actually fly up to the top here. Uh, let's still that stormfire thing. Let's just see if there's anything but mountains around here. There isn't. Look at that. It's mountains everywhere. There's absolutely nothing to go over there for. Just mountains upon mountains upon mountains. So we need to go back to home base. Yeah. There's nothing for us around here. Absolutely nothing for us. Okay. In that case, we're going back to base and we are starting work on a ship that can take us out of the atmosphere of this planet and into space. I think. I think that will be the most productive thing to do. Because we don't have silver or gold or platinum or uranium or anything like that on this planet. So we really need to go somewhere else to to get all that stuff. So that we can, well, first of all, get some more efficient power in uranium, but also just, I mean, get better tools, get better everything, really with silver and gold and uh, platinum and stuff like that. So yeah, we're heading back to base and starting to figure out what what we can do to, to make progress a little bit faster. I feel like it's a bit slow right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure you would, you, you probably, you guys probably do too. Uh, I know I would if I were you. And now we're stuck. Can we get up this thing? We should be able to. Yes, we can. So yeah, I, I think that's going to be the plan. We could drive this back onto the ice lake, but we'll uh, we'll see where we'll park it. We'll see where we'll park it. And I think I want to get a bunch of a bunch of hydrogen tanks set up on the base and stuff like that, so that we can store up massive amounts of hydrogen for a uh, for a space-going vessel. We're just going straight for the base. And this, this is home base. Yeah, that's home base. Let's go that way. Uh, I think I'll probably drive home uh, in between episodes because this, this has been a lot of driving today without any kind of success. So yeah, this has probably been a bit of a boring episode, unless you like watching uh, <laughs> trees flying, really. So yeah, it kind of sucks. I did not think that the, ro the, the rover would be as challenged as it is in this terrain. But uh, it is very, very challenged. And I guess we didn't go far enough that we any bases spawned in or anything, which is a bit sad. That's some dip there. Let's hope we can get in it and out of it again. I don't think we can. There we can, of course we can. Of course we can. Go, 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 go. Go, Robert, go. 
You can do it. Look at that tree flying there. Oh, I love it. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, um, yeah, I'll drive home to the base and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.